Converting the shapes into editable splines. So I want to convert the shape into an editable spline. So here I have a circle spline, right? So it's a circle spline right now. So I come up here and I, I select it. And I have three different ways I can, ch can change this into an editable spline object. And with the editable spline objects, we can get down to those sub-object levels. Those uh, sub-object levels will help us convert those things into higher uh, level uh, by conforming those sub-object levels. So the first method we want to do to convert this thing to an editable spline is we select it and we right-click. When we right click, we go down the bottom, say convert to, and I can say I want to go to convert it to an editable spline. And I just pick on this and it'll convert this this shape into an editable spline. Okay, so I just got this shape. I just came over here to uh, my create. I want the shapes, I want the splines, or I could go to extended splines, either or. And in this case, I chose the circle object type, right? So over here now, I'm going to just select this circle. So I could, the first method is to right click and say convert, go to edible spline. The second method is I can come over here and choose modify. And on the name of the object circle, I can right click and I can say convert to editable spline. So that's the second method. The third method is I can come over here, once it's selected, go to the Modify tab, go to my Modifier list, and I can come down and I can go to Edit Spline. And when I go to Edit Spline, I can use this to apply it to my, uh, convert this to an editable spline as well. So I have three different ways of getting the object to an editable spline.